Hello and welcome to this demonstration of using on-premise management with HPE OneView. Now, during this demonstration, we will be showing you how to deploy and configure the HPE OneView appliance. We're going to be creating some software-defined resources using OneView. So we're going to be adding an enclosure. We're going to be creating and managing server profiles and templates. Uh, we're going to be managing storage systems. Uh, we're going to show you how to transfer server profiles um, and we'll also do some navigating around the uh, the OneView environment so you can see uh, how that works. So the first thing I'm going to do is to deploy the OneView appliance. So as you can see I've got uh, vCenter open already and I simply go to File, Deploy OVF Template and click browse and i'm going to select the ova file that has my appliance in it and that's this one here click open next and next um, i'm going to give it a name I'm going to select the three-part data store. I'm going to choose to thin provision, save a bit of space. I'm going to select my network, and in this case, it's going to be the management network. And when I click next, just review the details and click finish. That's going to take a few moments to create the appliance, so we'll pause and we'll be back with you shortly and we've rejoined the appliance deploying process as we can see from the bottom of the screen it's at 99 percent so in just a few seconds the uh, appliance will have been created what we'll then do is there we go it's just finished completed so we will now right click the appliance so power and power on. Now this is going to take between 10 and 15 minutes for the appliance to uh, become active. So what we'll do is we'll open the console on the appliance and uh, in about between 10 and 15 minutes we will see that the uh, appliance will be live. So we will pause uh, until that time and here we are about 15 minutes uh, later the OneView license is being displayed so I'm going to read all of this of course and looks reasonable to me click on agree and then i'm going to have authorized services access enabled click ok and here i am at the login screen for hp oneview now I'm going to log in with the default credentials administrator and the default password is admin. Now we're going to be prompted to change this password at first login. So I'm going to set myself a new password here. And click OK. And now I need to set up some uh, details for the appliance. So I'm going to call it oneview.mgmt.hp.local. I'm going to have a manual assignment of IP address. I'm going to give it 192.168.20.25. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So slash 24. The gateway address 192.168.20.1. And my DNS server is 192.168.20.1. So quickly check that. 
I'm not going to set any of the uh, IPv6 parameters. I'll just click OK. Just take a few moments for these settings to be saved. So while we're doing that, I'm going to open the browser. And I'm going to navigate to https slash slash one u dot mgmt dot hp dot local. Let's just go back to the uh, console window a moment. So it's still updating the settings. Okay, so we just returned and the appliance is now up and running. So I'm going to close down this console window and go across to my browser and accept the warning and that's going to give me a login page and I'm going to log in with my username administrator and with the new password that I set a moment ago and here we are we're at the HP OneView dashboard so that concludes the first part of this demonstration which is deploying the uh, OneView appliance from the OVF template. Uh, what we're going to do in the next video is show how to create some software-defined data center resources using HPE OneView. So we'll see you in the next video.